These are the poor dog carriages. <laughs> economy. Economy? Yeah. Does it actually say that? Yeah. <laughs> first class, economy. Oh. Which way are you going? Straight to first class? This is the shittest first class I've ever seen. This week we arrive in Juni, New South Wales, a town that exceeded our expectations and plunged Chris into train heaven. Join us as we explore all things trains and eat our way out of the licorice and chocolate factory. If Chris drives slowly enough, we'll show you the freakiest thing I think we've ever seen, which is just up here. This is a hearst full of doll heads. Dolls. It is freakiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I said to Chris, do you want to go to the haunted house? And he's like, or the doll house. He's like, I'll take the haunted house. I'll take my chances of ghosts over dolls any day. <laughs> so we're set up here in June a, and um, we're hearing horns. Steam train horns. Yeah, the steam train. Yeah. Let's see if we can find it. Yep. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> Found it. Sounds like it's got a turbine. What do you say? It's got a diesel engine as well. Diesel. Diesel. Locomotive behind it. We'll go see if we can get a bit, a bit closer. Bit of a helper. Yeah. It's the old train building. Train station. <laughs> train is leaving the station. <laughs> I don't know if you can oh, go through without a ticket. How cool is this? <laughs> All the people. So this is the picnic train. <laughs> and apparently it's here for a day trip. Proper old school. Oh, they just use picnic for, train on it. Been lining up for the train to go to. Sydney, 100 years ago. Needs to do a toot. Huh? Needs to honk its horn. Toot, yeah. The real, real life Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Filling it up with water, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, standing to a dirt. Standing next to a really good bomb. Holy crap! Right. Like that whole thing is under pressure, so it can drive the big piston. So it's a giant bomb. But it bomb. keeps building up pressure. Yeah, it's a giant bomb. 100%. Oh, it hurt my ears. I was yelling at you and you couldn't even hear me. I don't know if the camera can catch how loud that was, but holy shit. <laughs> I was expecting it to honk, not to do that. <laughs> Look at all the coal on the back. Starting to drive. Put pressure in the piston. Okay. Huff, huff, huff. <laughs> That's the noise I was expecting, not the <laughs> other one. Oh. Feeds green the fire. <laughs> and then this isn't part of the normal steam train, eh? This, this is the helper. Get, <laughs> get him up the hill. Well, it is. It's a pressurised well, tank. The pressure starts coming out of it. It overpressurises. I have to admit that I was having second thoughts about standing right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. At, at least the pressure relief valve worked. <laughs> It's almost worth it just for coming to see that. Yeah. Little I don't know where it town. goes, but. Now they said it's doing day trips today. It's from Sydney and they send it out to all the different little country towns throughout the year, which is a cool idea. And like I said before, it's called the picnic train. I don't even want to ride in the engine. <laughs> it, got, it looked pretty hot in the engine. The I know, guy was sweating. But that's the coolest spot.
We were just having the discussion about the fact there was no black smoke. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if it's coal fired anymore. There's a heap of coal and there's a water tank, but maybe it's not. Maybe they heat, heat the water some, some other way. Yeah, maybe they just do the steam for show since there is a diesel engine behind it. But I mean, it's still it's pretty cool. It's definitely pressurised, it's definitely driving the pistons, but. Yeah. I don't know if it's a coal fired. Our eardrums know all about that. <laughs> coal fired boiler anymore. <laughs> People were just getting on when we were coming past, so we'll see if we can wait for it to come past us again. Looks like she might be coal fired. Yeah. It's starting to puff. Starting to get some black smoke. <laughs> Definitely coal, you can see the dude stoking it in there. Really? Yeah. We're just walking down the main street of Journey and we found a display of some old plain tools. Well, tools, woodworking tools. And I've used heaps of them. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that I used to work with when I first left school, he had all these like wooden rebate, rebate planes and, and block planes and stuff. From his, I think it was his grandfather, and we still use them in the workshop. A little bit of our family history for you. Anyone that's into um, Lee. Get it right. Yeah, no, I said Lee. <laughs> Lee uh, has heard of Laurie Daly who is famous in this town, is actually my mum's godson and she used to babysit him. Bit of random, random facts for you. Claim to fame. Claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got my own claim to fame. I was on TV. Oh yeah, <laughs> you yeah, were. <see? laughs> Put in the comments what program you reckon Tanya was on. I was on a TV show in New Zealand for two seasons. I'll give you a hint. It no, is... no, no, no hints. No hints? No okay. Hints. Two seasons. What was Have it Have a on? guess. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck it in the comments. Just think of like the cringiest no. <laughs> <laughs> What you guys just missed out on is, look at Chris's happy face, is that we <laughs> we decided to jump in the car and we went down to the Journey Chocolate and Liquish factory and we got all the way there and realised that I might have left the microphone at home. Please. <laughs> and because we wanted to film uh, for you guys while we are there, we drove all the way back which made him really, really, really happy. It's always something. We've always lost something. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault, they were charging, it's not my fault. Anyway, take two, we're just arriving again at the chocolate factory, I'm very excited. Liquish and chocolate, you don't like liquish, I love liquish, but uh, I don't think it's gluten free, so I can't have eaten it in years. Call me ignorant, but I had no idea liquish was a plant. <laughs> proper liquish, not the fake yeah, crap. Proper. Yeah, anyway, go have a look. And I read on their website that you get to make a giant freckle, and I really want to do that. So it has to be a dark chocolate one though. Yeah, they've got dark chocolate. So yeah, fingers crossed we can do that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's a good idea for like your, your house. Keep it nice and cool. Oh, where did you see that? Oh, it's licorice. <laughs> Look at it all. <laughs> Yum. Smell it. Mm. There's the freckle hut. Make a freckle. Are oh, they making the chocolate? Mm. They make the. Yeah. I love it how they're all on show. Yeah. They're like. There's no slacking off. No, do your job. Everyone's watching you. They look like scorched almonds. Hey. Those ones look like scorched almonds. What's in here? Are they making the chocolate in here? 
Oh, there's the dark chocolate wheel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the colour difference between the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. Oh, a little mould. I like how they've done this building, it looks awesome. Considering it was just an old uh, flour mill. Yeah. It's burnt out, actually. Oh, was it? Anything else in there? What's this one? Staff only. Oh, yeah. Someone in that one. There's someone up there. Find the specialty room. Huh? Gotta find the specialty room. Specialty room? Yeah. Where's that? I don't know. That's the whole part of my sentence saying we've got to find it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a croc. I haven't seen a real croc. <laughs> what did you think I said? Is it is it YouTubeable? No. Uh, here's a very handsy croc. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. Wait, Jeff just said it was an old flour mill. Yeah. I found a vegan soup pot. Ooh, we can make, we can make <laughs> some soup in that puppy. <laughs> you said we were going to bring lunch tomorrow. Should we bring some soup? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the ladle. It's the ladle bigger than our <laughs> pot. <laughs> Good afternoon. Who do I remind you of? Uh, what's oh, that back. guy on that lock island? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that Gilligan. Gilligan, that's who you remind me of. <laughs> who was I meant to say? Because no, that's the first thing that came. <laughs> I don't know, some reason. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. We've got Comet going on here. It's Tanya trying to put on the air net. Don't be shy. It's a freckle. That's some quality freckle making. Look, you still go. I never still go. That wasn't as a technical process as well. No. I <laughs> it was a lot quicker than we thought. <laughs> yeah. Heaps of little seating areas nice around here. Spot, eh? got, our, got our apple juices while we wait for our freckle. Little birds hit the jackpot. Yeah. Oh, he's got a whole bowl <laughs> of chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's grab a pew. And wait for paint to dry, AKA chocolate. Waiting for our chocolate to dry. And Chris has decided that he wants to go and buy a dark chocolate buy freckle. buy a dark chocolate freckle. Because we so couldn't make one. <laughs> Because the dark chocolate is um, dairy free. Dairy free, yeah. And the milk chocolate isn't. This is true. So, so we will donate therefore our Therefore, we ones. made a freckle out of milk chocolate. So it's only right that I buy a dark chocolate one and <laughs> eat it. <laughs> There's some sugar in that. It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we had a sugar. Oh, see? Fruit's just oh, nice and sweet on its own. So we missed the tour. It started at 1.30 and it's 3 o'clock. So we will have to come back. We will have to come back. She cut me out of the frame. <laughs> Apparently I'm not good looking enough. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked my drink. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> right, so today we've just arrived at the journey. Uh, what do you call it? Turn? The roundhouse. Roundhouse. Roundhouse, where they turn the trains around. So we've got an hour before it shuts, so we're going to go check her out.
it like the picnic one we saw yesterday. Look at that. So cool. We're not even really into trains and it's cool. I definitely like the engine more than the carriages. The engines are cool. What do you reckon? This is like a crash one. Yeah, crane train. Crane train. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't need to be used too often. Hey? I love this. It's cool, steam, right? Eh? Did you look in there? Did yeah. you see that the one yesterday? So the fire, the right coal there. was yeah, right that's there. That's why I said I could see the dudes loading the... That guy, they must have been burning yesterday. It was so hot. I love the wheel. Get past look, the... you pick your coal from here and you chuck it in there. Oh, the fire's under there. And so everything... Is here hot? As oh, shit. can you imagine how hot? <laughs> Especially being in Australia. Imagine that. Oh, yeah. This first up on there. Oh, we can go in. It's the blue train. Blue is first in Australia. Another fun fact no, first in New Zealand is red, not blue. How do you know that? Because I had an Australian mum and New Zealand dad, and there was uh, debates. <laughs> Just imagine doing a trip on these beasts. It's like a bed, couch at the bottom, bunk at the top, sink that looks like a bed pan. Look at the ceiling. This is obviously the food carriage. These things are massive. What's all this stuff here? Is that the furnace? Well, there's a shower down the back, so um, it must have made water. hot water. More rooms. All pretty much the same. And the ladies is down this end, the men's was at the other end. Yeah, there's the old shower. A bit of a shower on the train. That's awesome. That's cool, eh? Yeah. There's a whole lot of timber going on. It's yeah. pretty cool. It doesn't look wide enough, but apparently that white door and that white door is how the trains get in and out of here. Well, they can't deviate direction and they don't grow in width. So. No, I know, but they look wider than that, looking at them. The gates look too narrow. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was $10 to get in here. That was worth everything. Yeah, it's real cool. Because there's the actual museum inside as well. It's just the train. I really like that switchboard. We'll have to go back and show you guys the switchboard. We just heard from the guy that a couple of trains have accidentally hit forward oh. instead of reverse <laughs> and popped through, through the, the wall. Pop through the wall, but on the other side, which we can't get access to. So you'll just have to imagine, imagine that all on your own. We obviously can't put a drone up over here, but, oh, 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 there we go. The light reflection all the way. That's what it looks like from the air. Chris found a train called Fanny the Shunter. <laughs> <laughs> Trust you it's to It's called find. the Shunting Tank Engine. Trust you to shorten it. <laughs> you said there's a train called Fanny and it shunts. Well, there it is. It says on the sign. <laughs> that was real cool. Don't know what it is about trains. Because <laughs> they're just like monstrous. Yeah. And they just blast through Especially whatever's the in the old way. Steam, like how they built that stuff back in those days. It's cool. <laughs> but up there is how they used to put the water in for the steam to make the steam. There's the other side. We're not allowed on that side because it's still actively used on a daily basis but today is Saturday so unfortunately we didn't get to see a train spin but yeah awesome what are you doing <laughs> working working, working hard. hard check out my build someone's got trains on the brain <laughs> trains in the membrane <laughs> it's cool though I thought he was working today no 
That was the other day. No. I told you I was doing this today. <laughs>